Welcome back to First Look Asia on this Tuesday morning. Now and then, Therese and I like to go out and film a TV feature together. The last time was the health screening we both did. Mm -hmm. This time around, we decided to go dancing, ballroom dancing to be precise. We found a club here in Singapore that's been around for some years and we decided to give it a go. Ballroom dancing is enjoyed by millions around the world. Ballroom dancing is a fairly broad term. It incorporates a whole bunch of dances, including the modern waltz. The Viennese wall. Tango. Foxtrot. Quickset. Cha cha cha. Samba. Rumba. Paso doble. And jive. You can't do any of these dances in isolation, so you will need a partner. Today, Teresa and I are going to give it a go. We've got partners organized. And they'll take us through some simple dance steps. And at the end of it, because both of us are fairly competitive ourselves, <laughs> one will be judged the better ballroom dancer. And we've got the perfect venue. Well, enough talking. It's time to get some dancing organized. Or so as they say, cut her up. <laughs> Let's go and meet our dance partners. And we have with us our dance teachers, Mikhail and Miss Wee. Okay, Mikhail, what are we going to start off with? We're going to do two wonderful dances. One is an elegant waltz and slow rumba. I am very excited for you. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. I'm so excited. And Lance, what are you doing? Miss Reed, what have you got planned? Rock and roll and twist. Love it. Okay, we'll let you guys go first. We'll take over. All the best. Take over. <laughs> are you ready for the balls? Yes, let's do this. As, as a, for the first, we will start with the, with the basics. Okay. So I, will, I will show you. Right foot forward. One, left to the side, close your feet, change foot, left foot backward, right to the side, and together, one, two, three, one, two, three. So waltz is a swing dance, it's like flying. Mm. It means you take the step, I show you one, two, one, two, very nice. One, it's very light two. feeling, right? It is, yeah. It's, it's like you one, now we can turn a little bit and go back and change, go forward, yes. Well done, you're doing very well. <laughs> Mikhail Yeremev, Teresa's teacher, has been dancing since he was seven years old. It's so much a part of him that even his wife, Alessia, is his dance partner. She going through the club looking for a good time, gonna make that shake. First of all, me, it's, uh, it's my lifestyle, I really love to spend a quality time together with my wife uh, because we, we're enjoying dancing and we're dancing more than 10 years together and, and I like to, you know, to inspire people. Ballroom dancing is so beautiful, it's so expressive. Be honest, how did I do? Uh, you did a very good job. I like <laughs> the way you feel the way, the, yeah, you feel the music. I was feeling the music, yes. yes. So I'm going to be tough to beat, I think, Lance. I think you're right. <laughs> that was very well done. Thank you. We're going to go for something slightly faster, Miss Wee and I. you got the professional dancer. I've got someone who enjoys dancing on the yeah. social level. She's been doing it for 20 years. And we're going to do two dances. We're going to do rock and roll. And twist. And twist. All right. Wish us luck. Good luck, Lance. <laughs> Well, rock and roll isn't really considered a traditional ballroom dance, but it's popular with people just wanting to cut loose now and then. I love the twist. I think it's the easiest dance ever. I feel like John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. Oh, you dance very well. We had fun. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Beat that, Teresa. We were all just having too much fun at Club 5, a dance hall that's been around for quite some time. We started 1986 during recession time, and we played oldies, nostalgic music, and, uh, and we want people to come here after 5 to unwind. And uh, the ambience is good. That's how we've been here for 30 years. And now the moment Teresa and I have been waiting for. Who gets the top dancer prize? The Teresa, uh, she, I mean, she's feeling music very well. 
and once she starts to relax, she starts to enjoy it. I like your energy. I mean, the how you did a twist, it's like how you was leading the lady. Uh, this is, was really impressive uh, for the first time, your, your charisma. This is, uh, this is what I like. Looks like it's a tie, but I still believe I was robbed of a victory. So it looks like it's back to the dance floor for the two of us. Lance, I've been waiting so long for this day, and it's over, and it was just as wonderful as I thought it would be. It's I, such a great experience. It's a fantastic experience. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I enjoyed it on the social level because I made a whole bunch of new friends. Mm -hmm. I also enjoyed it as a sport because it's, it's quite a workout, too. Yes, you had quite the moves. I think <laughs> we did okay, but we should leave it to the professionals. Absolutely. We've got Mikel and Olesia to take us through the waltz. Enjoy it. They're so elegant. They Mikhail are. Mikhail and Olesia. Okay, Beautiful. let's be honest. You won. You were such a great dancer. No, I think we had different <laughs> dances. Different Yours was more slower, mm -hmm. and it had to be very precise. Mine, I could, I could mask it. And what you I couldn't could see, there were about a dozen people sitting there watching us dancing. It yeah. was so nerve-wracking. I was concerned they might just hold up scorecards. <laughs> yeah. Three. You need to leave now. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think you have moves like Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers... Or John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John, head to Club 5 at Park Royal Beach Road in Singapore. They're having a huge bash. It's called La Vie en Rose. It's this Friday evening, and it's to mark their 30th anniversary. Absolutely. And uh, on that note, we're done for today. 26th of July. Join us again tomorrow for your regular dose of world business and sports news. Plus, 